Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tai with another new bullish crypto analysis. Let's take a look at derivatives, in particular, perpetual futures. This is Coinalize.net. Um, this is on a four hour time frame. Just give us some more data that moves slower. I wish they had uh, eight hour, but they don't. So let's work with, uh, let's take a look at um, funding rate here. This is aggregated funding rate. Um, it's predicted. It's been pretty much negative and it's trending back negative again. And right here, this is the um, aggregated normal funding rate, um, not pre predicted the outcome. So it's trending negative right here, right now. So overall, it's pretty negative and trending negative. Uh, open interest aggregated uh, that's backed up by stable coins you see the drop right here that's because we had liquidation we had a liquidation and um, it dropped and this was right around um, right around here yeah earlier today um, ignore the uh, the yellow line uh, so liquidation drop cleared out some longs um, on uh, that I mentioned and the previous videos they were waiting to happen uh, open interest on um, based on coins like BTC etc it's uh, still running pretty much sideways so it hasn't increased at all um, so with negative funding that means the shorts pay the long a premium to hold their positions uh, so what that means is that if open interest was to increase back up again the likelihood of getting a, sh a short liquidation increases but right now with liquidation um, down a little bit and that may not happen yet but you we just don't know uh, the other one that we want to pay attention to is the CVD the aggregated uh, CVD I'll zoom this out for you it was trending up. I mentioned this before. It was trending up for a few um, for a few days, and then it's taking a dive right now. So we we'll, we want to monitor this and see what's going to happen in the near future. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, liquidation uh, levels map. This is from um, high block capital liquidation levels. Um, we see the price drop here. It cleared out a bunch of um, uh, longs, and now it's coming back up. Let's take a look down here. So on um, this was previously, let's see here. This shows eight, um, 829 million difference um, between the longs and the shorts as far as 25x to 100x potential liquidations. But it chopped up some of it. It was really high. It was almost two, uh, two billion, and so um, a lot of them get liquidated. And then uh, on this drop down, a bunch of them get liquidated all the way down to here. Some are still down here. But remember, this whole area was like filled with long liquidation levels. So um, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse pointer. Pointer. All right. And so um, now that it dropped, now you see a bunch of shorts coming in here. Uh, let's look at the shorts. Right now we have 1.9 billion more short liquidation um, levels as far as 25x to 100x. So they popped up here. So <laughs> they, just, they just grow back like mushrooms. So with price right here, shorts uh, are... Coming back in, more than likely, you know, where's the money going to be made? Well, money's going to be made up by price moving up towards this way. So, shorting the, uh, liquidating the shorts. So, I would expect it to consolidate sideways. And then, um, you know, the whales will let the open interest build up a little bit more, get more um, shorts uh, levels up here. Um, so once they're in place, they'll probably liquidate them by forcing the price to go up by um, buying BTC in the spot market and then holding lo uh, long positions in uh, futures. But 
I think it's not going to happen for a bit yet because we need some consolidation first. Like we saw up here, it consolidated for a long time, except for the little spikes here. But it pretty much consolidated for a long time. And then you get the, uh, the dump. So what would I expect it to do? I would expect it to consolidate some more. And then um, if the open interest can, uh, increases um, in the like near future, um, and more shorts come in here, more than likely price is going to go back up to liquidate, liquidate them. A lot of you are wondering how low can the price go? Well, we still have these levels down here of the longs, but the incentive is way more up here. Could we go down lower in the future? Sure, sure. But in the immediate future, you want to follow where the money is. So long term, I think we still, the possibility of dropping down below um, into the low 30s and upper 20s or mid 20s is still there. Um, but right now, money can be made up in this range. So they're going to do that for a while. And uh, these short visit, we want to measure these short high liquidation levels. They're uh, in excess right now, so I want to pay attention to that. Let's take a look at the uh, heat map and see what's going on in the heat map. This is the aggregated heat map. Uh, let, let's zoom in a little bit. You can see there was that drop here. It's been consolidating. You get some sell-offs here. Um, it's still sitting around 37.2K, and uh, you get a wall up just above trying to suppress it down we have walls down here trying to prop it up and um, you have another wall here a buy wall below that just appeared it looks like this one right here at 35.6k they went probably went up here took some of this and went up here right there because that wall just got a little bit bigger and you notice the 35k wall it went from light red to darker red so the size increase let's go down a little bit more at 34k we still have a wall there and um, this wall was in here but they uh, they now somewhat disappeared 33k is still there and this wall right here disappeared um, they probably moved down here more than likely they moved over here 32K is still there, 31.9 is still there, 31 is there, and we got uh, 31, 30. This 30 wall has been here for quite some time. They've been very patient, but uh, this wall is also just right above it. This wall right below here at 29.5K pretty much disappeared. Um, there's some residue of here, but you can see how things just change if you zoom in a little bit and go down. 29k is still um, is still here as uh, along with 28k, but when you consolidate them, they kind of merge together. 27k is here, 26k is still there, 25k is still here. Go down a little bit. We have 23k, 22k, 21k. Um, it's 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 pretty big ball. It's been there for quite some time. 20k is still there. This little wall above disappeared. It probably moved down here a little bit. <laughs> Look how far some of these walls are. Crazy. 18k, 17k, 16k, <laughs> 15k, um, 14.5. You get a 14. Wow. 12.8, 12. So let's consolidate them a little bit. It's getting ridiculous. <laughs> Look at this wall down here at zero. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh man. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit so we can. Uh, not much up here on top, but you can see them uh, when, once you merge them together. So the really big walls are 35, 34, um, 30, uh, probably 28. Um, we have some little walls in here, but when you consolidate them, that's what they look like. I appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed this um, video for uh, Perpetual Futures. And by the way, the uh, max pain price for options today is 38. And we're, well, options expire already, earlier in the, uh, much earlier in the day. But uh, we're at 37.1 now. I think the price is going to drop a little bit more. Um, 
I think that bear trap is still in play. So we'll see. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video later today. Peace. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always I forget. Um, smash the like, ring my bell, and hit subscribe if you haven't. Oh, and please leave a comment. I like comments. Those are the best. Appreciate it. Take care.